Hey everybody, Papa's Fix a Chop back at you. This is Kim. And I got a weird one, but like I always say, I'll fix anything. Well, I'll try to fix anything because if I never did it, I'm gonna learn something. This is a Coleman propane powered drip coffee maker. Anybody that does any kind of capping, hunting, or something up may have seen these, and I'm sure there's a lot of people that have these. And if they're like me, they love these things. There is nothing when you're out in the deep desert at the crack of dawn on a hunt or something and wanting your cup of coffee that works better and quicker than one of these. I mean, you crank it up and it's as fast as one on your kitchen table and it actually has a big ass pot. Problem is it started this thing it wouldn't it clicks but it don't spark. And I've been lighting it with a torch, you know, like a little lighter. But this past weekend I was camping with some family and down inside here is a little plastic valve, like a rubber valve that lets the water down. And I went to make a second pot too quick before it cooled off and it had an explosive boil down in there and it popped that little thing out and it flipped over and went in backwards and we didn't realize it until we started going that it's in there wrong and I can't get it out in there it's too small so I gotta take it apart anyway so welcome to Papa's Fix It Shop versus the Coleman Propane Coffee Maker Stand by. camera down here show you how to get that thing off so there's four screws around the bottom or five screws I should say then there's two screws that are actually stainless and they go up in here and then that little countersunk screw goes through right above the button but what the trick is, let's see, there's a lip right here. See this lip? If I look down, you can see it. And it's on both sides. And it wraps around this edge. So once it's like snapped around on both sides, it's stuck on there pretty good. You got to kind of work it off. Okay, it's very nice. So first problem I came to tackle was the igniter. It just, after quite a few years actually, it just quit working, which is common. So I'm gonna push the button over here on the side. See it? If you look right in there, this is where the, the tip is. No spark, huh? Let's see, this other side, it's 
Sometimes it works. If I move the wire in the right spot, it's shorting out down in there. Yep. So I got to take it apart, fix it. But I do know, let me zoom this guy out. If I unplug the wire from the sparker, it's got a little insulating thing. See, there's two weak sparks right there, and then it stops. You mess with it, and it would give a spark occasionally, and then it would just quit. <laughs> kind of hard to get the ground. Well, that ain't sparking. Yep, it's come up with an igniter. So, there it is. This is the shield to keep it from burning yourself. And it's got clips here to kind of hold the pipe for the propane when it's not connected. This is a water tank. It's got two connections. There's this guy. You can see the burners down in here. And up in here is this coil, the water goes in, runs around, goes out the other side. Propane hooks here. The problem that caused me to do this, because I had to, was not the igniter, because you can always stick a, a lighter up in here and light it. Let's see if I can get a picture of this. If you look down in there, you can see a black hose going in and then next to it is a hole where you can see light through there. It's the other connection. This little jewel goes in there. I don't know if I'm getting a picture with it darn because I'm half blind. And of course it's it's black. But let's see. If I get something for contrast, hold on a sec. Yeah. Really got nothing that's gonna work. Anyhow. This little guy, if you get it closed, it's got a peg sticking out right here. If I turn it over, can you see that? There's a little, it's a little valve. So it's supposed to be in like this, so the water will go through the valve down into there. And when the boil happens and increased pressure, it closes the valve makes the water go up the other side. Well, this thing flipped out, got flipped around, and we, I, I shoved my hand down there and stuffed it back in the hole, and I got it this way. So the water couldn't go through, it wouldn't work. So the coffee pot was down for the duration of the trip, because I could not get it out. What I ended up doing, that's funny, Oh, I took this tank off, took the hoses off, and you can see right here is this area where that valve's inside there. I went through with a round pin and pushed it out. It's the only way I can get it out. So 
So if you have one that does that, make sure you get it in the right way. Because I've had it pop out, I don't know, several times. And I'll just put it in the right way. This time I screwed up. But now i got to fix it so I can fix the igniter. Nice. So, back at this little, got to have your coffee pot deal. So I went to Lowe's. See if I can get this in this picture. It's a Charbroil brand. Chinesium. It's like a universal igniter for a single burner. I actually got two of them because I was on the same vacation this weekend and the Coleman stove that this is the second time I've gone camping with it and its igniter broke. It got cheaper over the years folks. Don't trust complicated devices from Coleman because the Chinese they know how to do it they choose to do it cheap so well, it is what it is so anyway I just kind of looked at a spot to put the button they got to be careful with where that is I did some measuring. If you have one of these kind of coffee pots and you're going to do this, you could count the holes and figure it out. But underneath there, it ends up being right in here in an open space. Now it is pretty hot in there, but I don't think it's hot enough to melt the thing. If it is, who cares? Figure it out how to do it a different way. So now, put it back together, Here's stand by. Coffee maker kind of tore apart. It's the original switch. Goes nowhere. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Down here is the new switch, just a push button. Sticking out on the back. And the wire routes around to the little chingasso. Tells a spark. Can't hold this thing at the same time, but I've done it over and over and it's working really good. And right here, that's like where I connected this to the wire by twisting it very carefully and then sealed it with quick JB weld just to keep the, the electric arc from sniffing out of ground somewhere around there. Anyhow, now I'm going to
Trust me, there's a flame in there. I'll be back.